Hi everybody! Are you interested in becoming a character rigger for films or video games? Well, in today's environment, it's absolutely integral that you understand some sort of scripting language, and I'm going to tell you why. First off, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Ryan Griffin, and I've been a technical animator, character TD for video games for about 13, 14 years now. I've also done a little bit of uh, commercial work on the side. Now, when I walked into one of the first studios I worked in, I found out that everybody there was manually rigging characters, which meant that it was taking about a week or two weeks for each character to get out the door. And that didn't even include skinning necessarily. So one of the first things I did was I set about creating a procedural rigging system. Now at the time, I didn't even really understand scripting at all. I had worked in a studio where people were using Mel and had built a pretty robust rigging system, but I had n no real knowledge of Mel or Python. So I just set about teaching myself. And I was able to create a very basic rigging system wherein I would just pull down a default skeleton and then push a button and it would generate all these different controls. That was good and all, except it didn't really allow for a lot of flexibility. So if I wanted to rig a quadrupedal character or a vehicle or something along those lines, I didn't really have any option to do that and I would have to build a new rigging system. So the next step was dishing out a lot of cash so I could take this really long and involved course that did end up generating a pretty advanced character rigging tool. The problem with this is they kind of went from step zero to step 10 without any introduction to all the steps in between when it came to learning Python. So by the end of it, I had this tool that wasn't really production ready, although it was very cool, and I didn't really understand how I got there. So in essence, I didn't learn too much after writing thousands and thousands of lines of code. So when it came time to do the character rigging for Skylander Superchargers, I knew that I needed something, and so I started taking what knowledge I had and building on that until I was able to build a reasonable rigging tool that was able to handle a wide variety of characters, including bipeds, quadrupeds, and different vehicles. I was even able to make some pretty cool stuff like tank treads. And thanks to that strong foundation I had finally developed in Python, I could go on to make even more advanced things like a procedurally based facial rigging system. So the point of telling you all that is that at the time there was not really a lot of information on Python and there certainly wasn't a lot of information on how to learn Python as it related to Maya. So I had to do a lot of that learning myself. And in my search for knowledge I found it was no good for someone to just hand me all the answers because I didn't really understand what it was I was learning. So I decided to build this course. So in this course I want to take people from the very basic concepts of Python as they apply inside and outside of Maya. And then I want to build on that knowledge as you actually construct a useful tool. In addition to Python, we're going to go over some key tools that are going to make your adventures in learning Python so much easier. First, we're going to take a look at Git and GitHub. GitHub allows you to version control your code, as well as collaborate and easily share with other users. Plus, you get access to a community where you can find thousands of other user-generated tools. Then we're going to take a look at an IDE, which is just a fancy way for saying a text editor. An IDE gives you lots of benefits like text highlighting, code completion, and it makes it really easy to add new Python packages that you can use in your own tools. Then we'll dive right into Maya and we'll see how we can do anything with Python code that we could do manually. We're going to start with basic concepts like variables, lists, dictionaries, loops, conditional statements, and then we'll move into more advanced ideas like functions and classes. Finally, we'll get into the really good stuff like class inheritance. In this example here, you see I have a hinge class which contains all the instructions I need to build an FK IK hinge. That hinge can then be inherited by your arm and leg modules. This is great because all of your code is then contained in one centralized place which makes it easy to manage and update your code. Any changes you make in the hinge will automatically be propagated into your arm and leg. When I was learning Python, it was really difficult. There weren't a lot of resources. And one of the big mistakes I made is I took a course that showed some really advanced concepts without any introduction or in-between. Furthermore, the course was simply step-by-step. -step. 
It took you from A to B without encouraging you to look at how you got there. Now, like most artists, I'm a visual learner. I really have to absorb myself in something in order to learn it. I designed this course to be project driven, which means we're going to be making something. I want you to design your own tool and then use the material presented in this course to guide you. I highly discourage you from using this as a step-by-step -step guide. Use your imagination. Try to push those boundaries and those limits of what you know. Then use the material in the course, ask questions in the comments, and search outside sources to find your answers. I ran this as a mentored course for seven years, which gave me an opportunity to refine the material to fit the way that students tended to learn best. Unfortunately, time constraints make it difficult for me to continue doing this as a mentored course, so we've made it available at Rigging Dojo On Demand. Now, I don't want you to think that you're going to get completely abandoned either. Take advantage of the comments section, ask a lot of questions, and I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible. I also don't intend to let this course die like many tutorial series you'll see on the internet. It's my intention to provide new content whenever possible which means I'm going to be taking notes as I do my day-to-day -day job, and I'm going to bring that knowledge back to this course, either through written documentation or new video content. If you're trying to score that first gig, or you're just looking to increase your knowledge, then I highly recommend taking this course. And while you're at the Rigging Dojo, take a look at the other courses we offer. There's still mentored courses, like Facial Rigging or Rigging 101, or you can look at other on-demand content, like the Maya API course. So if this sounds like the kind of essential learning you're looking for, then go ahead and hit that link below, get yourself signed up, and I look forward to seeing you at the Rigging Dojo.